Hey everybody, this is my Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. Uh, as you can see, it says I'm in offline mode because for some reason the server didn't let me connect. Let me try it one more time. Yeah, it just says it's not available. I have no idea why. But uh, we're going to start a new game. I'll be online in other episodes, hopefully. I guess it's just bad timing. Um, the mouse always goes to the center, which is really stupid. And I'm going to skip the cutscenes probably all the time because I don't really care about the story. If that offends you, then... Oh well. I guess I'm going to be offensive to you. Things betwixt. I think it was Northern Lion that I saw started to play this. And when Things Betwixt came up, he said, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. And I just turned it off because that's... A super simple word to pronounce. So anyway, first off, before I go into this tall grass, for some reason, the tall grass in this game is way louder than it should be for just being a sound effect. And you'll hear that as I go through the grass now. See, why is that that loud? I... I don't understand. I don't know why they would do that. I also don't know why there's these giant rat things. I don't know if I can hurt them or... I guess I can lock onto them. I don't care. Anyway. Uh, yeah, this is the Dark Souls 2 Let's Play. Uh, just to give you a little idea of what's going to be happening here. There's going to be one video a week. I'm going to be taking ideas and suggestions from the comments about what to do, where to go, you know, what stats I should pour points into, things like that. Yeah, it'll be fun. Here we go. I'm going to paraphrase what these witches say. They go, you're going to die a lot. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Uh, as for my name, uh, I had one suggestion for a name in the comments section, and it was deleted for some reason, but my name is going to be Potato. <laughs> See, she just goes, <laughs> that's, that's all she does. Alright, class, uh, looking over the comments, people pretty much suggested everything. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Swordsman, and for a gift, I'm going to go with the Petrified something. And, uh, let me see, for other stuff, build, large, physique, I don't really know, uh, face, homeland, oh, well, I'm super white, uh, hair, hair color, let me use my mouse for this part, this is stupid, there we go, eyebrows, uh, thick, I uh, what the crap, that looks really, why are they so big and like way up above my eye? There we go. Eyebrow color, we'll get that same brown color going. Uh, dark brown beard, we're going to give him a great big beard. Give him a dark brown beard. Tattoo, uh, sure, we'll give him a tattoo. We'll give him a, uh, ooh, wait, actually, you know what, I'm just going to do random a couple of times. See what random comes up with. Oh, that's cool. It barely did anything. Is this the opac opacity? Opa kitty? Opa kitty of the tattoo. We're gonna not have a tattoo because that's stupid. Uh, I think that's that's fine. I don't need to do anything fancy. Yes, that is my true self. All right. All people come here. Why are your eyes so big? Okay, that's enough of that already. Now, I don't know what all this is. I don't know if this is because I pre-ordered or because of what. I have no idea. Anyway, this is Dark Souls 2. I uh, only wish YouTube didn't compress videos and all that crap because I had this running with the mods earlier and downsampling and all kinds of special stuff with that Jido Sato thing. That uh, it's basically like the Dark Souls 2 version of DS Fix. 
Let's replace textures and stuff. This game looks way gorgeous with like all those settings turned all the way up and like 4x down sampling and stuff, but for one, I can't record that because just my computer would cry. And you wouldn't be able to see much anyway because of YouTube being poop. So anyway, let's uh I apparently have two swords since I'm a swordsman. And uh now this part is the tutorial section. I'm gonna skip the tutorial section because I'm pretty sure I know how to do everything. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I read about those acceleration issues. Like, there's problems with the mouse and with the joystick. There shouldn't be acceleration issues with a joystick if the game was made to be played with a freaking controller. Anyway. And I apologize in advance for the rest of the episode, but my, uh, I don't know, I woke up with like a cold or something, my nose is all stuffy and I keep sniffling, and I'm trying to lean away from the mic to sniffle so that y'all don't have to hear that. Mahula. It might be Majula, I don't care, I'm saying Mahula. Um, this is the part of the game where you find out that a bunch of people just walk off this edge for no reason. If I was playing online, you'd see a whole bunch of those, uh, death, I don't know what they're called, the, the blood stains on the ground. You'd be able to see where people were just walking off the edge. I guess people are just so enamored with the beautiful water, they're like, I want to go to there, and then they die. Oh, uh, okay, so. This is the very central part of the game, from what I can tell. That chick over there is gonna give me my Estus flask. And also, uh, if I get shards, she'll be able to strengthen my Estus flask. So that's that's good times. Let's talk to her. And then ignore everything she says. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So just looking around here, I know this guy wants help getting into that room. Oh. He's like, I'm a green dwarf. And I'm like, alright, whatever. Away we go. I don't know why, but when I see these statues, I'm just like, time to cut you down, and then that's all I do. Uh, okay, so. I'm about to show you the extent of my knowledge of Dark Souls 2. I know there's a shard right there. I know there's like, infected demon pig things over there and I know in here you can talk to this guy and he's like begging you to buy stuff from him and then I'm well, like nope because I'm broke well, I do hope I see you. and then I go up here and I take his stuff at least I assume this is his stuff up here it might be somebody else's I have no idea all I know is I'm taking it now oh those freaking pigs followed me in here this was all a bad idea. Okay, so I have to run past them. <laughs> Goodbye, pigs. Okay, now out here, I am gonna kill the pigs. I might as well kill them right now, since they're kind of separated and none of them know where they're going. And Alright. Um It kinda worries me because these pigs take a long time to die for some reason. Which makes me wonder if I'm bad or if I'm just not doing something right or what, but It might be because I'm trying to avoid getting hit at all too. Because I am not going to die in the first episode from these stupid pigs. No! You stupid pigs. Come on. And then, like, because they're small, if they're below you at all, you can't even hit them. Well, I just obviously lied, but... They're really hard to hit whenever they're like that for some reason.
Come on now. See, now there's three pigs, and I have no idea where the other one went. Did one fall into the hole? Because that'd be okay with Chris. Or did I not attract all three of them? I don't care. Um, in here, there's like some kind of cat or something. It's like, yeah, hello kitty. Oh, and one without much time remain. Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Not exactly the time to be chatting with a cat. Do I look undead to you? I look fine. Well, oh yes. You may call me Shalqua. I will not call you Shalqua. Um, oh my. Haste makes waste. <laughs> okay. Um. Oh, what else is in the starting area I'm trying to think of? Uh, I never took her the flask shard. Dealy dealy. I will take her that. I'll dive into the water. Are... Oh yeah, I have to talk to her like eight times before she's like, Oh, let me help you with things. However. There. Thank you. Yes. I'm wary that that pig is just going to come out of nowhere. But I don't see him, so... I think I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm okay. Uh, down here... There's a chest or something with something in it over there. And... Bleh! So cool. I've got a rusted coin. I've got two swords. I've got an upgraded Estus flask already, or strengthened Estus flask. And... I've got one rogue pig that I don't know of. Oh, let me go get that... Whatever that is in that tent over there. And then... I'll give you a little uh, summary... Of... What's gonna happen now? Ha! Ah, oh, the box has defeated me. Come on! Come on! There we go. Alright. Now... What you have just seen me do... Go in there and take that guy's treasure. Go kill the pigs. Take that from the, that tent. Talk to that green dwarf. Talk to the girl over there and get the Estus Flask. Go in there and get the rusted coin. And you can go talk to that guy, but I don't even know if that's important because he's just mopey. That is the extent of what I know about this game. I don't know anything else. I don't know, uh, I think that door's locked to that bigger building. Uh, I don't know what's in that building that dwarf wants to get into. I don't know if anything's ever in this tent. I don't know if there's anything up that hill or down or what's down there. I don't know anything else. This is where the choose your own adventure kind of thing happens with this game. You guys tell me where to go. Did I for, did I already miss something? Is there stuff up here? That kind of looks like a tunnel. But I want to go through that tunnel because you guys will tell me what to do, where to go, and I want to make it really clear that the possibilities of what you guys tell me to do, oh there's stuff over here, the possibilities of what you guys tell me to do are pretty big. I mean, you guys could say, make the next video two hours long, and I would do that. If you told me that I had to talk like Yoda for the entire Let's Play, I would talk like Yoda the entire time. Uh, if you told me to unequip my swords and only fight with my fists for an entire episode, I would do that. Um, seriously, like, be creative. Tell me what to do. Tell me to make the video upside down in black and white. Or tell me to... I don't know. Just be creative. Tell me what to do. Um... Obviously, no one, I mean, people might agree with one suggestion, or I might have to pick from a bunch of different suggestions. We'll just see what happens. And I'm running around because I don't want to just stand still while I'm talking. So yeah, leave comments below. Tell me what to do. Tell me where to go. Tell me who to be. Tell me if this face is a bad choice. He looks like a kid with a beard. Um, 
but yeah just uh leave your comments below and we'll see you next week on a much more uh probably a more interesting video than this but uh yeah thank you guys for watching bye